My dear brothers and sisters, with the celebration of Ash Wednesday today, we begin once again the holy season of Lent. Lent has been described in many different ways, of course. It is a time of spiritual retreat. It is a journey of faith. It reminds us of the 40 days that Jesus spent in the desert. And it is surely for us an opportunity for special grace and blessing. Pope Francis explained the purpose of the season of Lent in these words. He said, Lent is a time of spiritual renewal for the whole church, for each community and for every believer. Above all, it is a time of grace. Lent is a favorable time for letting Christ serve us so that we may in turn may become more like him. Words from our Holy Father's Lenten message for this year. Lent is a favorable time for letting Christ serve us, the Holy Father said. That's a very interesting take on the season of Lent, isn't it? We are going to allow Jesus to serve us during the season of Lent. But we need to open the door of our hearts and our minds and our souls if Christ is permitted to enter in and to serve us, to make us more like him. And that's what the traditional practices of the season of Lent are all about. We speak of prayer and fasting and good works, as we just heard in the gospel today. It is in prayer that we have that loving conversation, that loving dialogue with the Lord to open our hearts and minds to his word and we respond to ourselves. It is in fasting and abstaining and in other works of discipline that make us stronger in spirit to do battle with the evils, to do battle with the evil one who goes around the world seeking the destruction of souls. All the little things that you might be doing during the season of Lent, the things you are giving up, it's all about making yourself stronger spiritually so you can do battle with the devil. And we speak about good works, our almsgiving and works of charity, those things we do that remind us that we are part of a human family. We try to become more aware of and responsive to the needs of other people. And that opens us up to the Spirit of Christ as well. Lent is a favorable time for letting Christ into our hearts so he can serve us. Wonderful words to reflect upon during this season. It also strikes me that this year especially, in the midst of winter, it's very, very difficult to remember what spring can be like. You found your way through the ice and the snow today, and I commend you for that. But sometime soon, I think, the snow will melt. And in just eight or nine weeks, perhaps, you walk outside this cathedral and the beautiful trees will be blooming with their beautiful white flowers and the sun will be shining and there'll be some grass and flowers around. But in the middle of winter, it's hard to remember how beautiful spring can be. But that's what Lent is all about, isn't it? Lent is a journey that takes us from winter to spring, from sin to grace, and from death to life. So this is important as you receive the ashes, which we're about to do right now. Don't do so lightly. Ashes are a sign of your faith in Christ. Ashes are a sign that you are willing to make this journey from winter to spring and from death to life. And ashes are a sign that you want to open your door to Christ to let him serve you. God bless you. <laughs>